Hey guys, welcome to a pop-up podcast. There we go, you like that? Pop-up? Pop-up pop -up podcast. And this is only going to be on YouTube um, because we are driving and we don't have our microphone and obviously not everything set up. So we're visiting family and we went to a local health food store here and found a new type of chocolate and we thought what the heck it's summer it's summer <laughs> it feels like summer it does it's kind of warm actually got cold today but it is winter um and they had this mint chocolate that we just thought looked really really good it's fair trade and usda organic so it's green and blacks organic dark chocolate fair trade usda organic um, delicious. Let's see. The invigorating freshness of pure organic mint extract is carefully balanced with our dark 60% cocoa dark chocolate to produce a vibrant flavor combination. You can find them at www.greenandblacks.com slash US. That's all spelled out. Um, let's see. It's made in Italy. Certified organic by the California Certified Organers organic farmer something like that so we will link to this website down below um, like I said we were able to find this just at our local health food store the health food store here is significantly bigger than the one in the town that we are at um, so I'm sure that helps and give that's why they have more options but we're gonna go ahead and try this are you excited to try it oh yeah I love chocolate okay so this again is just a pop-up podcast you won't be able to find this one on iTunes um, so for now it's just here if there's any kid noises it's because they're in the back seat if it's bumpy it's because I'm holding this oh it's like it's like Willy Wonka <laughs> we, got the golden we got the golden ticket or something like that right yeah I think something like that yeah. I don't remember the song that's such a good movie we should watch it not with our kids though it would probably freak them out so again if you watched oh wait you wouldn't have seen it we have a chocolate another chocolate one coming up I don't usually like chocolate oh my goodness this smells so good can you smell it Oh, when I first opened it, I got a big whiff of mint. So I'm excited to try this. Mint. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's hard. Oh my goodness. Oh, all right. Here's a big piece. So here's what it looks like. You can just break it off. Again, chocolate. This was, I think, $4.30 for this bar. So kind of expensive. Um, but fair trade or chocolate is one of the hardest things to get fair trade. Like, it's really important to be fair trade, um, but it's definitely an exploited um uh yeah area that's not the word i'm looking for though um goods i it's an exploited good so i saw this one thing out of africa only like three percent of what you pay for a bar of chocolate actually goes to the farmers who grow that chocolate and the rest is all for um you know making it and all that stuff which makes sense but then like 40 some percent is the markup on the chocolate that you get so paying 430 is actually a fair price compared to your dollar chocolate you can get like from Hershey's or whatever at the gas station or something so I'm gonna break this up and give us each a piece here you go we're stopped at a stop sign so this is a perfect time to do this our pop-up podcast product review for green and blacks organic mm. not very minty oh wait pretty dark the aftertaste is minty yeah. Cocoa wise, it's pretty dark. It's a very, well, it is dark chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate? Yeah, it is dark chocolate. That's why I'm usually one to get milk chocolate or white chocolate, so it's a little dark, but it's not a bitter dark. It's a very good oh. dark. A very minty. Mm hmm. It's good. I don't think I'd get it again, though. Yeah, almost too much mint. You think? Mm. Well, I like dark chocolate, so. It's a very, it's not like a sugary mint flavor. It's a very like pure mint yeah, it's good. flavor. It's good. I don't think I would get it again. Just because I don't like dark chocolate to begin with. And um, I'm used to like a sugary mint, not like a pure mint extract type flavor. So they did have a lot of other flavors there. They had like a caramel. They had a white chocolate. They had just a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. So they had a ton of options. Maybe another time we'll get another one and do another pop-up podcast for you. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good though. Um, if you like dark chocolate and if you like mint flavor, you'd really like this. Um, but I don't know. Would you buy it again? Probably not. I probably no. would buy the other kind. 
we would try a different flavor first maybe um, and then so like I said we previously did a podcast which you'll be seeing that in a couple of weeks for another chocolate company and we really liked that one so we would probably if we tried another one of another flavor of this company and didn't like it we'd probably go back to the other one um, so there you go it's it's like an in-between like yeah. thumbs down for buying it again but not necessarily thumbs down for the company just because we haven't tried any other flavors agree Agreed. Okay, watch over the mailman. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this pop up podcast here at Perfect Goods Podcast. Make sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And again, if you are on the go and you want to check our podcast out on iTunes, you can, but this one won't be on there this week or at all, actually. Um, but we'll have another one up on Monday. So every Monday we upload a new for real podcast. And then on YouTube, you'll occasionally get these little pop up podcasts. So thanks for watching, and we will see you all next time. Bye. See ya. You want to say bye?